let's talk about motorless mountain bikes. As you well know, we have been developing this bike for a while now. So this will replace stamina in our portfolio. The reason why we stopped making staminas was that we engineered a new suspension design, which is so versatile that we believe that we should update our portfolio on normal bikes as well to this uh, Sensei suspension design. Also, we have developed our production methods further, and this is the next level of CNC machined bikes. We have several patents uh, and several patents pending on this design and, and it's really unique. Let me explain a little bit more about the development process here. This prototype has been made 2019. You can still see here similar holes that we were routing our cables outside from the frame, but collecting feedback from our customers, we decided to move internal cable routing. But the suspension itself, it, it still it has the same kinematics. So this is the uh, frame that we uh, engineered Voima suspension, and this is where we finalized the Sensei suspension. It's funny because we haven't changed at all the kinematics. It's been the same places for, for these uh, um, linkages. So we have been developing other features. So for example, here we can see that uh, this uh, frame still has the traditional seat clamp. There's an additional part here. This frame still uses the bushing here as, as on stamina. Well, that's, these are the main differences. So the swing arm uh, has a little bit more shape here. It's wider, but overall it hasn't changed a lot. We're pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, yoke is still the same. The BB area has a little bit different look, but I'll explain a little bit more further down the road. That's where we started. This is the first iteration. Maybe the swing arm is not the first. We have changed it a little bit, but uh, yeah, there's no extractors here and the shape is a little bit more bulky. And then we, we went a little bit more crazy with the, with the experiments. So this is the one I raised, Transmitera 21. If you look at here, we have experimented uh, different constructions. Here's a hole. This was the part where I uh, wanted to try different uh, cable routing. So the cable the cables would co go out from here, from the center of the frame, and also they would go in directly here, not, not on the side of the head tube. Yeah, and also this was the oversized steering tube as well. So uh, that was an experiment how to, if, if the steerer would make any difference on a regular bike or e-bike, but that uh, standard hasn't evolved and it would, was quite hard to find even the headsets for, for, <laughs> for that fork. So, uh, well, it was stiffer, but I mean, I, I didn't see a so big advantage of it, so we didn't chase that in further and that would reduce the fork models even even more uh, so so that stopped there um, the cable routing uh, I, I found out that these shapes are not easy to to handle and uh, the, it didn't bring any big benefit for the cable routing so for just cable routing making these shapes is it's not not uh, maybe feasible uh, this one still has the traditional seat clamp option. Yeah, the lunch box, it doesn't hold a lot of stuff inside and our frame can have two bottles, which the other bottle or a pouch can hold some stuff that you would probably put inside the frame. Uh, it's another construction and uh, you need to reinforce the area as well. Well, this was a little bit overkill. I put some ribs here. They were probably too much, but when you're making a prototype, you first want to make sure that something works. And also one thing is that we need to make the, the down tube quite wide as well, uh, which is kind of unnecessary if you, if you uh, want to make a normal, normal mountain bike. A lot of companies have come up with uh, this kind of solutions, but yeah, we're, we're still not going this way. Um, maybe maybe we need to 
wait a little longer and rethink about it, how, how could we use that space more efficiently. But this, this wasn't the way we want to uh, go forward. So here we have the model, which is very close to what we are finalizing. So here we already have the integrated seat clamp, which is on Voima as well. This model had the, the new uh, shock mount, which has a threads in the frame, but that's cut away because I wanted to know uh, what's going on there after the race and all that. So, so that's, that's why it's uh, hacksawed. Here as well, we have the similar cable routing as we did with Voima. So basically we started developing Voima and this uh, alongside each other. This one has the links that has extractor. This is actually the same swing arm that Voima has. It's exactly the same. This is the production. But in front triangle, everything is more finalized internal routing. Um, cables enter here on the finalized version. The, these whole places are a little bit uh, higher up. It, it benefits the cable roll. You can make it uh, a little bit shorter, the cables. Then uh, what we have here, which we had here as well. So we have keying surfaces where bash guard and chain guide attaches. The same is here. So that's the integrated pole, really lightweight bash guard made with uh, absolute black parts. So you just put, put it there. Then uh, you can choose from uh, ICG mount as well. And this is the what I used on the prototype. This is the final version. It has a different, a little bit different, more simple shape. It's a little bit stiffer. There's a little bit more material. I think this one is a little bit crooked. It, it bent when I hit something, so I put a little bit more material here. Um, internal route, cable routing sometimes is quite noisy. Um, the cables rattle inside the frame, and, and uh, that might be a problem with, with some frames. But um, And this is something that you, helps any any frame. So you just get foam tube, it doesn't weight a lot. And um, the, the magic is that you ram that inside your frame and let it be like this. But the key is that uh, we don't route the cables inside this from that hole, we put them outside. So this uh, foam, presses the, the cables um, between this foam and, and the frame. And that's how you make it dead silent. Thought about putting tubes inside and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, something simple like this is, is, is more uh, feasible than trying to make something complex. So um, that's the development process. And let's look at the new bike then. Okay, so this is the almost final version. Oh, I don't say it's the final version because this hasn't gone through Transmodera, for example. We need to race it and then also we, we're going to do the FB try test to it. So, but I believe this is the, the last version we're, we're going to make. This one is quite much lighter uh, than this front triangle. The rear swing arm is again the same production model that we're using on Voima, but the front triangle is now lighter. What we've done here is reduced material inside quite a lot and also there's something new as well if you look at the fr front side. The head tube area we have changed quite a lot so one big change is that the shape it has less of this bulk in the front which reduces uh, weight quite a lot. Uh, but also one thing that we have changed is that how we make these holes. Uh, so now we can make these holes even more accurate and rounder. And you can immediately feel when you put the headset on how free the movement is. I'm saying that here it is bad, but I could immediately find how smoothly the headset runs. And that means that you have better headset life uh, with, this, with this frame. It looks slimmer, it looks uh, more sleek, and overall these shapes are now more refined. What is not yet finalized is the protective film. This is just hand cut film. It's gonna have the same option as Voiman's really well covered, so your bike will look uh, perfect after a few seasons. What I use here is uh, I have an ICG adapter. I use the chain guide bash combination. 
yeah, this is overall uh, my setup when I uh, want to race. So I have DH tires, hamburger inserts from Huck Norris, um, then I have a Trick Stuff Maxima with uh, 200 millimeter rotors with uh, uh, 2.3 millimeter thickness, so they're not uh, exactly light. Then I have the ED Max S wheels, so really stiff wheels. Then I have the Crank Brothers Mallet DH version. Uh, then AXS dropper post, uh, tidal uh, handlebar, and tidal stem. These are all my preference for enduro race bike. I like everything to be really stiff so I can hit hard, do jumps and all that without worrying about too much if the bike is gonna give up. All these features what I've selected here are, are my prefer preference. Also there's one, one thing that is new here that you haven't seen on, on most bikes is the flight attendant. We managed to get a really, really tiny badge and it is possible to be one of those lucky ones to uh, buy this bike with these. Uh, it is a limited number. It is 10 sets. So if somebody wants one, you need to be quick. This is the concept, what, what I like uh, to race. It has 190 millimeter of travel. Uh, you can make uh, on, on ex exactly on, on um, uh, this um, uh, flight attendant. I'm, I'm keen to try a little bit more softer suspension uh, for uh, for uh, just just um, to see if the lockout actually does something on the trail and how does it affect because since the suspension can be said quite soft or quite hard without being harsh but it has more mid-stroke support a softer suspension might help in a long race like madeira but then on uphill and everything it would be really stiff in a pedal yeah one thing i would like to change here is the carbon trunks but sram doesn't make aluminum high-end versions with an axs you need the power meter here but overall this bike has been made uh, with a lot of passion and a lot of uh, attention to detail so you can fit two uh, bottles inside your shock has a really good uh, position it can uh, again we have these two pivoting points here if your bike flexes your shock is not taking the stress um, the bicycle kinematics is really well thought its pedals very good like it's so efficient when you go uphill and on the trail without being too harsh on the pedal kickback. You don't have the chain stay there. It's really easy to service the bike. The main bearing change only takes me for 10 minutes if, we, if I want to change the main bearings. So let's look at the other side of the bike. Here we have, um, this is the little bit updated version from even Voima. So this is, this is the previous model. You can see it's, this one was a little bit lower. So what this does here is, is that uh, on some, uh, some seat post, there's some features that, like a tapered part, we wanted to move this a little bit higher uh, so we don't necessarily hit that tapered part of the seat post. So, and also for cleaner look. Also, we have reduced weight from the seat post and seat tube area. Uh, with this design, we could cut away some material there. So this seat tube is actually quite thin now. So we could reduce the wall thickness there. Same features go as with the uh, Voima. Brake mount is direct mount, and you can use 220 millimeter rotors or 223. As well, this is compatible with big rotors, as the fork as well, the Zeb. This is the same colors available as, as Voima, so raw clear, storm gray, and true gold. There might be some changes to the production, uh, such as um, um, these small details or weight. So I'm not talking about the weight yet. The frame weight will be uh, less than on, on Stamina 180, that's for sure. So, so that, that's, that's how much I know at the moment, so. Uh, 
Uh, cable routing, uh, uh, if you look at here, this is how the brake goes. Exits there and goes in there. This cable routing is really fast, but routing this is uh, pretty straightforward. These grommets are quite easy to work with. As you can see, you can take it off. These holes are big enough. So you can push pretty big. Uh, you don't need to take off um, any of these end ending parts. So you don't need to remove them. We have made these grommets softer, so it's easier to push them back in to the frame as well. And overall, it's really quick. From our customers, when we get feedback from Voima, this concept works very well. It's really good on corners, but stable on the straights. We lifted the BB on, on, on this concept. It's, uh, it's the same as on Voima. It's, the bottom bracket height here is level with the with the axles, so that helps uh, you in the corners, so that when you corner and you tilt the bike, it doesn't want to stand up too much when you hit the corners. And it's easy to maneuver around quick turns. Also, you have more clearance for cranks, even though you have 190 millimeter of travel, so you don't need to worry about pedal strikes. Really hard hitting or trail bike, that's the name of the game with uh, with Bole. So for those who really enjoy riding their uh, technical local trails or travel or go to the bike park with only one bike and and this is the one to get um, for that kind of uh, mentality.